That's right. It is another week of going to the well. And this week, it's all about what's in the box. Mountain bike season racing is upon us. In fact, starting in January is some of the first big races there. And with that being said, we reached out to Rudy Project. We need a new helmet for mountain biking. And of course, we need new glasses. And I have a feeling it is all inside the box. Let's dive in. So what's in the box? Helmet, glasses, and what I requested last time was a case to travel on this is a hard plastic case nice little lid on it super stoked about that the helmet this is Rudy Project's Pro Terra Plus line one of their top line mountain bike helmets and this thing is awesome nothing but positive to say about this guy I do like the mesh interior of the helmet the pads seem very comfortable and good the nice thing about this mesh interior if you've never had one before it really helps prevent the sweat from falling down in your face and when you're going down a mountain that can really suck so it's pretty nice don't have to wear a spare skull cap that means i'm going to keep my heat down so super stoked about that good visor on it real easy to handle a uh, dial in the back to go and tighten up on the melon and then of course another pair of spin shields this time the clear frame the red lens on the front reddish purplish this is going to go good with the mountain bike on the course and like I said before, when I raced in Dallas and we're getting upwards 25, 35 miles an hour, I had no wind issues whatsoever. So this is going to be a huge plus on the mountain bike trails. It does come with a little bag. And then of course, stickers. You always got to have stickers. So the mountain bike season here, of course, we have a lot of work to do to dive into this. Now, does that mean that we're going to turn down our triathlon training? Of course not. We have an Ironman right around the corner. But of course, we do got to put some focus on this guy before it's too late. Now this is my Trek Top Fuel mountain bike and it has pretty much all the bells and whistles any XC racer can ask for, uh, especially a heavier set guy. Let's take it outside, let's give it a gander, and then we'll go into what's inside the bike. This here is the Fox Shock 34 factory with the Koshima, or however you say that, coating for the shock here. This is basically Fox's top of the line product they make for mountain biking. Comes in different sizes, 32, 34, 36, so on and so forth. Those are gonna determine quite a few things. Now, they will tell you that 34 is a little big for an XC rider, but somebody of my size, we prefer to go with the 34 and it gives us the amount of travel that we need and it can hold up to our body weight. All right, so a quick view in the cockpit area and some of the upgrades I made. First off, everybody gets new grips. I have rev grips. These are US made, made in California and Santee. Many different colorways. You can get different ends, different grips. In fact, they make stem caps for your bike that have GoPro mounts, bells, a lot of crazy different things they have. Awesome company. What's really fun about these, you can get different colorways, you can switch everything up. And uh, one thing I do enjoy and why I'd recommend them is they float over the top of your bar so they're not in direct connection. So that paired with retinol fat bars, my vibration dampness is perfect. I really don't get worn out. Hope disc brakes system, absolute must have. You need to stop, it definitely works out well. And then of course, I do have my dropper post, which is up here. So the cockpit's a little colored for my taste, but uh, it works. And the nice thing is I can reach down and lock out my shock real simple. So uh, yeah. Now, just like on my tri bike, I run SRAM on my mountain bike. That makes the battery convergence really, really easy. In fact, this battery is dead right now. So just to change the gears to get my chain up a little bit, I just stole one off my triathlon bike. And uh, don't worry, I put it back because I do need to make sure these stay charged so that way they stay paired up. But on here, XX1 Eagle uh, drivetrain on here. Really, really like the system. Very quick shifting, very lightweight, and it just works. I've broken a ton of other chains. These ones, knock on wood, 
somewhere have lasted a pretty good distance in a long time. In fact, I have a spare one just in case we break one. But yeah, I enjoy it. And then of course, the free hub in the back makes that musical sound that I like. And you can kind of see the uh, disc setup for the Hope back here. But yeah, with a Fox shock uh, float for the rear shock, everything's hidden on this bike. Absolutely love the way this thing is set up. Big thanks to the Cycle Your Bike Shop in La Mirada. They absolutely have me hooked up ready for race season. In fact, this puppy's got to go to them and get clean because it is dirty. Everything else on the bike, pretty standard. I've got carbon Von Traeger nine wheels on here, the boost hub on the back. I'm running Maxxis Icon tubeless tires. Highly recommend tubeless, especially get those little thorns in your tires and the sealant. I do run stand sealant. And of course, another video we'll get into kind of how to upkeep these things because a lot of people, they tend to just go tubeless and the next thing you know, they don't do any upkeep and then they complain that their sealant's not working. They don't realize is your sealant, A, can't just sit in a tire for a period of time, which mine kind of have, but you've got to, you know, clean them out, wipe your tires out, go ahead and get some new sealant in there. We'll get into that in another video. But other than that, that is my mountain bike, my weapon of choice. She's done me good. I'm hoping this year she's gonna do me even better. So that is just a quick tour of what's in the box and my mountain bike that we're gonna be racing this year. I wanna thank you guys for staying on for, well, however long you stayed on, but thank you guys for watching the channel. If you've yet to subscribe, you know what to do. If you've yet to ring that guy, you know what to do. If you wanna find us on Instagram, Allenville underscore endurance, right about yonder, pops up, go ahead. Link is in the description below. Again, Bike Shop will be in the description. Rudy Project will be in the description. Just click the link to be able to find the products. Thank you guys. Get out there, enjoy, ride safe, and we'll see you guys on the trails. And the answer is yes, I have done a triathlon. In fact, my very first triathlon was on this mountain bike. If this is all you got, you go out and do it. If I give you any recommendations, I would tell you this is a lot harder to ride on asphalt or pavement than that guy is. A lot of rolling resistance. Here, second. 